So this is part two of the homework exercise. Sorry, I could not fit that all onto one video, but let's look at number seven now from the classwork worksheet. So if we have A, B is congruent to C, D, let's mark that up first. And then if A, D, and C, B are congruent, we can mark that as well. And we want to prove these two triangles are congruent. So let's write our given. And in our diagram, we have a third side that's congruent, and that's BD. So we have BD is congruent to BD through the reflexive property. Now we have enough information for our proof statement since we have one congruence, two congruence, three congruences, all our sides. So we can say triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BCD through the side, side, side postulate. Okay, for number eight, we have a, a little bit bigger of a diagram to deal with, but let's get our givens out here first. We have AE bisects segment BD, and then we also have angle A is congruent to angle E. So that's our given. So if angle A is congruent to angle E, let's mark that first. This statement as a part of our given isn't telling us what pieces are congruent. So in looking at the diagram, if we have AE bisecting BD, then BD is being bisected. BD is being broken up into two congruent parts. And those congruent parts are BC is congruent to DC. And the reason why we can say that, this is the definition of a segment bisector. That's what we used. So if AE bisects BD, then BC is congruent to DC. That's the definition of a segment bisector. So we have this two bits of information here. And the third piece of information, so we have a side that's congruent and we have an angle that's congruent. So the third bit of information is this vertical angle here. So we have angle, angle, side. Can we prove congruence with angle, angle, side? Yes, using the angle, angle, side theorem. Okay. So in looking at this diagram, we could say ACB, number three, angle ACB is congruent to angle ECD, because that is the vertical angle theorem. And we've been abbreviating that as VAT, Vertical Angle Theorem. And then from there, we can say triangle ACB is congruent to triangle ECD through angle, angle, side theorem. Okay. There's a little more to this. We just have to, before you go through the problems, I would suggest um, like talking yourself through it, seeing what pieces you have to be congruent. So you can say, okay, I have one pair, one set of angles, and now this is telling me something about the sides. So then I need to find one other bit of information. So you can use the postulates we learned. Okay, number nine, there's a lot going on here. There are two triangles, but we wanna prove that they are congruent. So if we have BC and EF, we can mark that here. Angle B is congruent to angle E, we can mark that there. And angle C is congruent to angle F, and we can mark this here. Can we prove these triangles are congruent right away? We sure can. So if we have BC is congruent to EF, and angle B is congruent to angle E, and we also have angle C congruent to angle F, then in our second step, we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. 
rushing a little bit, so forgive me. That's my given. And then number two, so this is by angle, side, angle, because the side is between the two angles. So this is only a two-step proof. Not too bad. All right, let's look at 10. This diagram is a little bit more tricky, so let's read this carefully. If we have AC and DF bisect each other at E. That's our given. So are we given any bit of congruence here? No, we're given something as being bisected. But we know that AC and DF bisect each other. So AC bisects DF. So we know that DE and EF are congruent. And then we know that DF bisects AC, so we know these two pieces are congruent as well. And then through vertical angle theorem, look at that. We have, ang we have side, angle, side. So we have to state congruence before we jump to our proof. We can't just mark up the diagram and then just say, we're done. So we need to state congruence. So we have DE is congruent to FE. And then we also had AE being congruent to CE. And this was the definition of a segment bisector. Okay. Then we also have that vertical angle. So we have angle DEA is congruent to angle FEC. Those are vertical angles. Now can we state that triangle DEA and FEC are congruent? Yes, we can. So let's look at the diagram again. Side, angle, side is the reason for that. So we should be numbering our proofs as I am. We should be going through and making sure that everything is lined up. So we have step two, step two, step three, step three, step four, step four. So make sure that everything looks neat and organized. Okay, so take time to go back and study. Um, again, make sure things look organized so, and make sure that we have three bits of information. I suggest like formulating your own idea for a proof before you, um, uh, your own idea for a proof. And you don't have to start writing your proof until you know how you're going to write the proof. So do your best and I will see you all soon.